<laughs> Miami sucks and they lost. Florida State wins. Welcome to X's and Knowles presented by Knowles 24 7. Miami hate week is over, but your hatred should not leave your body. Rub it in the face of your nearest Ibisy neighbor. As soon as you see them, for you have the bragging rights of an entire year. Florida State wins the game by a score of 27 to 20, as we all expected, and all the post game, like win expectancies, net success rate, nerdy stuff. Florida State beat Miami worse than the score. Uh, that I mean, I and I think the film's gonna, I think the film's gonna play that out, but I'm here with my boys. We've got Adam, we've got Kevin, we've got Trey. We're going to break it down. It's a rivalry game, big old nasty one. So we're going to do the full game, not condensed. Let's get right to the film because oh. I'm, I'm just ready to go. I still I got to ask, I gotta ask you a question. Which, okay. Which do you like more? Do you like Miami Hate Week or Miami Moral Victory Week more? Oh my God. I've never seen like, like, dude, you're not like Akron. Like it's okay. Like it's okay to be mad after a loss. The so, Yikes. so content after a loss, very disappointed in the E cane fan base. Like, I thought <laughs> they had, I thought they had more chutzpah than that. It's very disappointing. Chutzpah. Well, they, chutzpah. They, they are the most optimistic fan base I've ever been around. Yeah. That's a, that's, constantly that's, that's a euphemism for, to describe them, but let's see Florida state <laughs> spread out wide motion. Yeah, total feel emotion. Going to hit the wheel. That was yeah, the concept Scouted you probably. thought you'd see with all the man coverage and and blitzing they like to run. Obviously, a staple of the Mike Norvell offense. Yeah, it seemed like something they they thought they would get. Maybe that was on film where Miami yeah. blitzed early off off the corner often. Um, but good play call. Get a chunk play. Play one. Started out with a lot of a, a, a attached. Each back here. Later in the game, they go to some detached. Run a little counter. And it's very close to popping, but yeah, just as we have semi grown accustomed to, um, Jaheim, uh, the, the threat that he is, is not always the greatest blocker. And he's not. He wasn't healthy for this game, too. He was no, he wasn't. through it. But well, like this, you said, this defense event's crashing hard. I don't. I don't think JT's reading this, but this would be a good pull read. I wonder. Uh, it was when I was watching this. They've obviously got James Williams kind of James Williams kind of as a spy and a second person on on JT. They, there, he's almost playing man coverage on on Jordan Travis. Yeah. Um, if if by design, you know, by alignment, that's an auto auto give. And you knew they were going to trigger off on counter because yeah. of what happened last year. <laughs> it's just what everybody's done. I mean, that's what people have done. To oh my god! Yeah, right this there. is the matchup I, I circled at the beginning of the game, before the game started. Just you kind of can get on their safeties with with tight ends and and win some matchups. You need to be able to hit this. Poor throw or a healthy Jaheim Bell gets that. Yeah. It's it's it it's really to hard to tell, but to that, for sure. that needs to be completed. Yeah. Either way, so many times this year, those two have been that close to hitting one of those, and just that happened. Offense has been that close. Ugh, yeah. Miami gets pressure here. Yeah, it's a good front. I mean, they're covering everybody up, so they're just basically saying get get one on ones. Now they 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 don't. Well, have they still bring five. Up. They're not running their yeah. They're not running their bear, but they do end up bringing five. You do a good job on Ruben Bain, who. Really was a non-factor on the on the day. Oof, right side but, has a rough rep here. Yeah, let. Yeah. Yeah, not good. Eighty-one had a good game for them. He, he gives Meach the work. I think if if Meach holds up there a little bit better, Jordan may have a, a lane to escape to the right. But yeah, he, he uses. Yeah, well, he heads, just he, doesn't get the switch. All on. right, so somebody. I, I wonder if Byers. Meech, I think Meech is expecting Byers to come stay inside here, and Meech is going to go out to the to the edge, um, based on what's going on there. Based on lining up directly well, behind some, them, like they're kindergartners going to there. lunch. Yeah. yeah, there's a little miscommunication there between those two. Okay, well there you go. You're done. Drive over. Ah, oh, oh, Master Man Al. He had he a had great game. Yeah, yeah, he did. 
Yeah, so I, I don't think this is normal for, for Mike to, to punt in this situation. I mean, we've seen him go for it. I think he just really trusted his defense. Look at Rosenberry. Look at the long snap. Was that the, was that Rosenberry? 49, yeah. dude. Look at him go. They're down there working, Let's man. Let's go. Get him, Rosie. A uh, 22 down there. That was great. Great effort, man. The special teams, big part of this win. All right, so a big story about you know what people are saying is that Florida State in the first half didn't bring any pressure, kind of sat back here. Uh, we can we can kind of watch and evaluate if that's true or if that's even worth talking about. Um, see, this is they kind of roll him in late. It's it's mm-hmm. hard to count that as a yeah, true it's like, what done light box. It's, it's what they've done all year. They're running. They're they're ro- rolling to a bunch of rat coverage here. They yeah. ooh, drop that dude down the hole. They're helping the to need? take away the C, the C, the sl- uh, slot receiver here, Restrepo, who's a favorite. Uh, target for for the Miami offense, so he's helping to take that away. He's also engaged in the run game. Like I, I, I've I've grown tired of the talking Ooh, heads, talking disgusting about. hold in the end zone. Yeah, that is pathetic. by should've law. Been, that that, that by law is a safety. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Here, right. there's there's your offsetting no call safeties. Yeah, and that guys, it's ACC. They were bad. They were bad all around. All right, and then here, you know, like you got the safety sitting there yep. in that rat, taking away any sort of slants. He's in the run fifth early. Yeah, I just don't think that's a big of a talking point. You're I mean, they four, switch. You're in your four three also, so they you do got a little guys in the box because the safety rolls down. You're in a four three. We'll see it in the second half. They do kind of a little gap exchange to shut down uh, what what Miami was doing, yep. but um, which is a good adjustment that happens in game. Oh. On this one, I felt like you can't really see it from the TV copy, but generally that safety needs to be down harder on those on those dig routes to help out his slot. Um, so, oh, Florida State stays at number four in the college football playoff top twenty-five. In your face, Dinich, to shatter the the illusion that this is happening on Wednesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, <laughs> that sausage is made. All right, first and ten pistol again, Still like you said, attached. detached. Yep, each back biscuit in there. They're running some, like running some duo. zone. I think they're running some duo here. You think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one's hard to tell. Yeah, but I'll I'll believe you. <clears throat> and Trey ran tough all day. That's he did. Nice he ran really hard. It's the ah. best his best game of the year by far. So here. Do a good job here of, you know, this is kind of a tough ask for this for Williams here, their safety, or who's man up on the tight end. You can see him follow him across the formation. Then you're going to make him track all the way across the line of scrimmage. Good little play call here. Well, you also put him in a position where he's got to try to – he's got to freeze on run game too, so. I'd like to see that run point. with like a, like a healthy Jaheim Bell, but I mean – yeah. This gets still a tough guy to bring down open field. Yep. They they went to the stacks a lot. They really tried to spread out Miami, and I, I do applaud them for that. I, I think that was the right move. I think that's how this team is built, and uh, you're seeing them go to it more and more often. Hey, speed option. We talked about that. Oh, and he was a heel away, dude. A heel away from a touchdown. Yeah, this is... What are we seeing? Uh, yeah. Well, you just got I mean, you just got great angles up there. No, no, nobody in the middle of the field. You've got everybody yeah. rotated to the to the wide side of the field, which is why they're running this into the boundary. <laughs> For those who want to know why they run plays into the boundary, look at all the bodies to the wide side. So you're going to pitch off a pitch off the end there. You needed a better angle by 63 to get up on 51, and this play actually does go, but alas. And that kid, fifty-one's good, but yeah, the, you can't. You'd like the, you'd like buyers to get a piece of that kid there, right? Even so, still great play by Trey Trey Benson that gets negated. Yep. Get the first down though. Nice yeah, design. Yeah. We've talked about it before. It's very similar to a screen where all he needs to do is get a piece of him. No, I just I think he was a step slow on it, but just it still I'd works. Love to see them work this a little bit more in their game plans. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they, get... they run it well. Get Benson moving down a lot of from them, but 
Yeah, there you go. Ugh. Yeah. All right, first and 10. Again, the little stacks formation. With the red wide receivers. You got to catch it. I remember that one. Yeah. Got to catch it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when, when teams are stacking the box like this, I mean, look, you got seven people down there for six blockers. That That's a stacked box, right? Mm -hmm. You got to be able to hit these shots, right? This is just an RPO. Probably looking, looking here. And that could go, you know, depending on if you break that tackle from the safety or... He takes a bad angle. It's exactly the type of stuff we wanted them to run in this game, and they did. Then they did it, man. It's just mm -hmm. gotta execute. You still gotta execute. This was one that was close to popping. Yeah, I, th I thought the line blocked pretty admirably in the first quarter. Like it looks like they're holding up pretty well against this Miami front. Like that's a great job by Byers there. And now you've got to get this play side backer. You got to get this. He's got a keep... block that's missed. Uh, uh, he... I wonder. If, now, Biscuit must not have pulled. Biscuit must must have been supposed. To, he he must have been a puller, and he didn't get the call. But they must have a. I mean, I can't imagine that they're. It looks like it looks like Jordan's reading that kid. Right? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Kind I, of... I mean, looks like they're trying to run counter, but Biscuit stays in and blocks. I don't know. Yeah, that, yeah, we I, saw that. We saw that earlier. Where yeah, it's I a think one, that was one on one. You'd love to see your guy make him miss, but that oh, happened. That's a lot of space. Kid's a solid linebacker. I think he does a good job of being where he's supposed to be all the time. Yeah, I think they just lost him. Man coverage. There's nobody even over there. That's what I'm saying. I, I think they misaligned formationally. I think they're trying to play some bracket stuff on Keon and. Screw it up. That's real wide for they. They must have saw something where they knew that that was going to happen, man. Because biscuit is out wide, wide. <laughs> well, I wonder if this is this is a way to get their to mess up their man coverage, right? I mean, he's a he's a, yeah. a tight end out here. Maybe they they saw something earlier in the season where this guy's slow to see whoever's on him is slow to see that and just gets lost in it. Yeah, that. That's by design, dude. Like that that's nice. They they must lie. I'm with you, Kev. I think they, they caught something on film. So it's a good drive, man. They're piecing together play after play against a pretty aggressive defense. They love this formation. Yeah, I mean just just a typical spread formation. Okay. Eleven personnel. This Mo gets beat here. I mean, he's fighting his ass off to be be out on the field, but this is gonna go. This is gonna yeah. pop if fifty six doesn't make the play. Come, come over on the backside and screen. Yeah, they were they were way offside. Yeah, my I, Miami was was well prepared for the for the running back screen. You could see it early there. Uh, this linebacker does a good job recognizing it. He's just there. You see that, and you say, "Okay, well, I don't know if that's going to be the play today." They didn't go back to it often. No, no, screen and counter. Yeah, they went back to counter, but Miami was really mm. ready for both. Oh, you ran counter for 7,000 yards against them last year. Yeah, I didn't think they were going to be ready for it. Right, exactly. Nice, nice play, tough catch. catch. Yeah, again, that, that, that This is what I don't understand why this disappeared. Right. One-on-one -on -one from the safety, easy completions in the middle of the field. Their safeties just aren't great in coverage. And I know he, he, he kind of disappears in the second half in general because of I don't know injuries or whatever, but yeah, he he. It's not like he he just wasn't even on the field. But like to Kev's point, like like he, they throw these inter, short to intermediate throws in these first drives, move down the yeah. field and score, right? And then you just they just kind of disappear. It's like they're like they they put in the legwork and they want to take their shots, but sometimes teams don't bite. Oh, this is such great a great mission. run. Some more duo here. Morlock almost screws it up, but he gets just enough of the kid. And then yeah, you see yeah. a good block by Meech inside. Yeah, that looks like duo. There you go. Just like you said, Adam. But that's all it takes. That's all yep. it takes. 
They get to the second level, big tough run, you down. Nice run. Nice run, at the, sir. At this point, it was feeling like this this game might not might not go well for, for Miami. Here's um, good. I love it. Boom. Yeah, so, uh in duo, he takes the outside guy, then you double team. Well, they they kind of Miami was doing this little bear front where they were kind of just loading up all the gaps with all their guys. Yeah. So duo really just turned into a true man blocking scheme. Mm-hmm. You get a hat on a hat. Yep. There and he moves the backer. up. And then you just force the linebackers to come in and you make them wrong, you know? Yep. Mm-hmm. So, oh, nice job by by Meach there. Twenty's gotta stay twenty's gotta stay on on Jordan and you're able to get a pop it up underneath of him. Gets that kid on the ground, helps out his center. Good job, and, 71. Even though Miami's got numbers in the box, I think one of the things that Florida State might be seeing is that one of the numbers is is a safety here. And he, he's a physical safety, but he's still a safety body. Um, but he's also – he's accounting for the quarterback. Like, yep. they know that. So, Man, yeah, dude. Emmanuel kind of knocked him on his ass there. I like that. First and 10, regular drive for the defense. Let's see what happens. Miami got a little bunch formation. Yeah, they, they went bunch a lot. I think they were, they were thinking they were playing Florida State from last year who struggled with bunch. Um, and they just are poorly coached. <laughs> poorly coached, clearly. All right, heavy formation. FSU likes to run a lot of them for me. This is a fun play by them. I I, really, I don't want, want to give them too much credit, but yeah, they pull Restrepo around, and he's going to be a lead blocker for this. You're not obviously not expecting that too much. And he does a it decent allow, job blocking, but Renardo yeah, Green, what to, a play! Right, it allows the ball to get out on the edge because he get an extra uh, an extra defender out there. The, Adam, they found creative ways all day to attack the secondary mm-hmm. in the running game, like get crackbacks on them and like with the motion and stuff. That the, the running game was more cleverly designed than I expected. I thought they'd just run That's double. What they do. So it's not shocking, right? Yeah. I mean, no, I, to... I I didn't expect any. I didn't expect that much competence, honestly. I don't know, but I'm down on the coaching staff that they have. I didn't think they, I didn't think they ran the ball that well. I think it's. It, I mean, I. Uh, this they is did gonna... in the first half. Oh, you gotta oh, make that tackle. This dude, th- this was like one of the three plays that, like, this was their offense, man. And you knew they were gonna do it. We knew they were gonna do it. I mean, FSU's ready for this. You, you've got your two safeties back. You're expecting throw. This safety expects allows him to be more aggressive. He, well, let's see. Does he miss the jam? No, he's mirroring with inside leverage. He just falls down, misses a tackle. He just comes off of him and then. Kevin Knowles got to make a tackle. That stuff yep. kills you, man. Fuller Fuller knew what was coming, had him in the right spot. It's just game 10. Each each of these guys have their skill sets that they're good at, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, oh right there, dude. Oh, damn. But this co- this coverage is good. <laughs> I mean, there, there's nothing there. Yeah. Very, very physical play by uh, AZ Thomas here. He had he had himself a pretty good game, I think. He By the, the way, game. they started this drive with G- Gil Bremen and and Byron Turner in. They got up across the fifty, and Jared Verse and Pat Payton immediately came back in. Yep, mm-hmm. it's not. It's like all snaps aren't created equal, or something. And some snaps are more important than some, others. I'd say some areas of the field have more importance. That's for sure, buddy. <laughs> it's a good opportunity to get those guys. I mean, Here yeah. you go. Yeah. But but yeah, good, good recovery by twenty three. Yeah, you see this all year where teams will overload the side away from uh, Fentrell Cypress trying to get him in the run fit because they know that FSU is going to put him in the run fit. And he missed a tackle on the slant earlier. Oh, nice job, Pat. Oh, he's got it in him, man. Good job, 23. Way to bounce back. Pat does a lot of ball to bounce. Yeah, let's watch Pat. Controls Controls the tight end. Doesn't allow the ball to bounce. He keeps that outside arm free. Yeah, really great job. Good leverage, man. And, that and that's the best tackle blocking. I've seen Cypress make all year. That guy, that tight end, he's blocking has grandkids, too. That's a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man coverage, third and eight. There you go, Jerry and Jones. He's got Restrepo in hell. Bet he won't make a catch. Hey. Yeah. 
Yeah. The just, best blitzing linebacker in the country. You thought the player of the year, maybe? Dude, the stats might bear it out. He I I I struggle to think of linebackers that have had more impactful plays than he's had this season. That's for damn sure. Well, he's yeah. he's out of season. Well, that's big time. They're he's, double they're I mean they're committing to double teaming. This is a good blitz attacking the protection they do. They they're doubling Fisk. He just comes right around it. Yeah, teams have doubled Fisk all year. That's allowed him to get up. It's funny because Fisk is probably the best player to have the least overwhelming stat line. I love and him, what, dude. What's nice is if you watch, oh, I mean, they get lucky because it does pop, the tight end pops open, but Verse takes a step forward, gets a tackle to, to step to keep eyes on him. Then he fold, and he bails out of there in coverage. Watch, he's going to step forward. Boom, tackle's got to keep his eyes on him, which means the, tight, the, the guard's got to stay on Fisk with him. That's a nicely designed play. And it gets there soon enough that yep. first doesn't get burned on the tight end. Which that's the game. Like that's yep. the gamble that's the you game take when, when you, you get won. pressure. That's the game. And they won this time. Jeez. Oh man, this kid. This kicker talked so much crap after this, too. Take a seat, <laughs> Junior. Mario. He, he doesn't miss hey, it. Get over here. <laughs> I'm gonna try to tell you like I know something. Like, okay. All right. You got Work. good bot. Uh no, you don't. You, Miami's just gonna they just loaded up these gaps. And they they said tire that, night, man. Tire night. they said if you're gonna pull linemen, we're gonna jump through that, you know? Yeah, they were very aggressive on it. Same formation as the last drive. Ooh. Oh, oh god. Oh, that's almost there. Yeah, just just not. Yeah, they don't get the overtake with Meech and or with uh, Mo and um, Keandre. Keandre works yeah. over the top. He just can't quite get to that linebacker. But if yeah. he does, that's yeah, yeah, dude. It looked they blocked that up pretty good, except for just that one and that fifty-one. Very instinctive, triggers fat. I like him as linebacker, dude. He's a good. He's a good linebacker. Well, essentially, what they're doing is they just kind of play with seven defensive linemen all game. I guess it's only six right now. You got numbers. Oh, and he's still going. Tough run. All right, so you finally caught him with, with two deep safeties. Good numbers. Kind of run your, your duo inside zone, whatever whatever that is. And Good push by the line. All right, Miami showing blitz. They did this a lot. I don't think there's a deep safety. I think this is cover zero. Oh. Physical to go run by Jordan Travis. Oh, yeah. You think you, you think he dislikes this team? <laughs> oh, Darius. Darius makes that block. We're talking off the races, man. This is this is frustrating. I mean, Miami's loading the box, but you are getting angles. Yep. And you, you're calling the right plays against their looks consistently. All right. Man, they're begging you to throw this football. Well. <laughs> and you're still running it. Well, you're running it. And, God, you're so close to popping it, though. Yeah. Oh, Keandre. Yeah, there's the missed block. Just out of control. I mean, this, this ball's this is a home run. This is gone. It's a touchdown. He gets a block hey, here. You catch him in a backside blitz, and he's essentially not doing anything over there. <laughs> that number doesn't so, matter. Mm. He misses that. Yep. Oh, dude, because you had Jakai. Yeah, everybody else was accounted for. Ugh. There's so many would be like house touchdowns in the running game. I I didn't. Ex I knew there were some, but the thing is, I I think I think one of the frustrating things is this is what Miami does best. This is what these linebackers do best. They're really good, solid tacklers. I know, but man, you had him. You had him schemed to death, dude. Like you. Going back to the RPO look, I I really like this. Lucky as hell they didn't get called for illegal downfield. Yeah, well, no one ever calls that. That's true. All right, eleven personnel again spreading them out. 
exclusively pistol. Should have been a touchdown. Throw the damn flag. Yeah, standing he, right there. What are you doing? What are you standing there for if you're not going to throw that flag? He gets that's tackled. Really he bad. literally gets tackled. <laughs> what the hell really are you doing? <laughs> that's really I mean, at worst, bad. that's holding. Right there, buddy. Let a flag. Oh, man. Uh, the, uh, that's... Yes. Man, they are just giving this to you. <laughs> Oh, why are we owing? What's going on, bud? I think JT missed a touchdown here. You got man coverage. You're going to run a pick play, essentially. I think that's there. That's his man. Kind of picked. He's not hit that early. He never what? looked at it. He never looked at it. Yeah. Interesting. That's normally their first read on those. Messages. Yeah, it is. Oh, he's still way to run way. hard, but come on. What happened here, AB? I haven't seen this formation they just, yet. They just the beat you up probably on this one. Yeah, Mo got beat. Yeah, couldn't hold on the block. Yep, they just beat you. Awful camera angle. Mm. This will throw away because it ain't there. Yeah, you're kind of running a counteraction. They were able to get around the edge of this. Again, look where all the numbers are and all the bodies are. You understand why they're running so much into the boundary here. Um, yeah, I think Fires is cheating a little bit too far in here. Really worried about this B gap penetration. Well, oh, Borlocks. Lost two. They're all covered anyway, man. Good throwaway. They got you. Yeah. Nobody's open. All right. Inline tight end to a little motion. Man coverage. You're going to take your man. Ugh. Yeah, you like the decision, right? Yeah. I mean, Keon's caught those more than he's than he hasn't, but... And then Fitzsimmons. Never a doubt in my mind. Here's what I don't understand. Why not run something in breaking with the look that you're getting? Not not even there to, from the field side. Yeah. I mean, look if you're run if you are working like a slant with that wheel, which you've already run today. Yeah, something off the wheel. I think that's fair. I just it's just a low percentage shot on third down. Dude, I'm even, it's it's hard for me to fault the play call when they called like three would be touchdowns in the yeah. running game on that Not same drive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like yeah. half the game though, it just feels like it continues to show up. Yeah. It's just like you, you have the look, you have like best man coverage. Why, why make it harder than it has to be? That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Like this is like a 30% completion, maybe 50% completion. Why not get something like here that's like a 70% completion? Uh, calling, calling plays to call in plays I mean, to score rather than to convert, I guess. I don't know. Potentially they're expecting a different look there and they don't get it. I mean, they yeah. and they trust their guys, but mm. I don't know. That, that, if I could sit with Mike and ask him right there, like what I would like to know what he was expecting and then yeah, why they, not? Why not let Johnny be a bit use his big body? Which he did, which he did earlier in that drive. I'd say overall yeah. against that defense, with some of the looks that they had schemed up, good, good drive, little little bit of meat left on the bone. They really showed this kid's parents nine thousand times. Like whose parents? That's Emory Williams, Williams' parents. Um yeah. you were in the stadium, so you didn't have to I yeah, dude. I, I saw mom and dad three hundred times. There's a penalty on Miami, obviously. All right, so Byron Turner's got to redirect now. You see screen. Get your butt out there. Yeah, this kills you, dude. And they run this play really well. Yeah. But you knew it was coming, right, guys? Yeah, <laughs> they prepped for it. And I think Turner's not there. And I think he's – he could have been a little bit more physical trying to force this back towards his help. 
I mean, he's on a he's on a guard, so they they run yeah, that really yeah. well. I mean, in the future, they blow this up, and I I think you'll see better play by the defensive end. So, bunch they again. They stop the run really well. They're aggressive. Yep, they bring they bring Deloach. Blitz. Oh, run blitz. Good job. Nice job by, I believe it's Bethune or Lundy. Lundy That's comes Lundy. in and forces this. Really right, physical. Nine. Mm. Batted the ball down. Yeah, really great job by Farmer. Had another defensive end. Yeah, they they got our ends going too wide. Good job, good job by Farmer to get in there. That's Edmund such drives. A- he just hasn't. He just doesn't have the twit. He just doesn't have the bend there, like to get. So we have Edmund and uh, Turner in on. Yeah. No, I think that's Pey- Peyton's in, but he's Peyton, getting yeah. chipped. He's getting chipped by the back. So you, you no, got Turner. Other- Turner. It Turner. Yeah. Oh, it was. Okay. But look who's in on third down. Yeah. Yeah, Peyton and Verse. Uh, what's more important, second and nine or third and nine? Like you know, the, these downs have have values, and now they're fresh. Right? They've got to sit yep. for a second. So that's 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 the defensive line rotation. That's why you're doing this. It's not full drives. And you rotate them both because if you don't rotate them both, then you get into situations where you start, okay, well, I'm gonna put this guy in. It just becomes too much. Like and it needs so, to be a manageable situation for yourself in game. This is one of the things that leads to a sack here. I mean, Jared Verse is very aggressive, does a good job occupying two blockers here in the middle of the field. Yeah, Kalen does a nice job being patient, allowing us to set itself up. You, but because like because Jared's fresh, he's he's better able to do this, you know. But he occupies one. Fit, you're seeing a lot of it occupying bodies, so that the Kalen's free. They understand uh, Miami's blocking scheme. Jared gets Matt Lee to commit to him. Kalen waits on it when he sees the commit. Then he takes off and goes after this thing. And you, yeah, I agree. I, I don't really have too many, especially not this game. Well, uh, with this is like playing like a legitimate top ten defense in the country. Um, but you you don't subscribe to the to the mix and match theory with the defensive ends having like a verse and a turner. Or you, nope. you don't like you don't like that. Nope. Okay. Put your it best players on the most shit to manage. You go into a game with a plan, and when you when you start doing stuff like that, it becomes crap. You got to try to manage. It's not worth it. Okay. Yeah. That's hey. Convinced me. It's funny because they, I feel like they, but they do do some, do they, do, do they mix and match the first team defensive tackles either? They don't. It's like Lovett and Ray. And I think they, they have pass rushing. But I think uh, they see those guys as more oh, a lump sum of bodies that they yeah feel like they can use. I mean, they, they definitely use Ray more often on, on passing downs and stuff. And so I feel like he had a good game this game too. We'll see if he shows up. All right. Back to the pistol. We'll split zone. Oh man! Oh, that's nice. We'll tight end screen, a little wide. Jordan screen gets here. it off real quick. You can see the split zone, which teams had been killing Miami with split zone. UNC gashed them with the split zone. NC State ran it quite a bit. I, I was stunned that Florida State didn't run a split zone, but the, they ran this little split zone and screen, which is yeah, I mean, it gets them to bite hard. There, you can see how hard they're biting because they see kind of counteraction, a pulling guy. It's really nicely done. I guess it's not the worst assumption to think something that gassed you like five or six weeks ago, they would make it an emphasis to be better at, you know what I mean? Sure. Expecting that teams would have it. So I think that's an interesting wrinkle. This isn't what, You this see isn't what they fun. do when you pull linemen. Look how aggressive they are at just trying to blow up this play. So it makes sense to try to run a thing where you pull a lineman, pull a tight end. And he's way too early here. He's way out in front. See, but... They're also running a uh, TY counter here instead of GY counter, which is new. You don't see a lot of t- uh, tackle tight end counter because the timing is an issue. It's a it's long eight. way for that. That's a really long way for that kick to come. And I understand why they're doing it. They're trying to commit bodies and uh, defend the, against the backside with that bare front coming, but. It's a really long, long, long way for that tackle to get to get what that. About if, what, what about if Washington gets a better hit on this guy? I mean, he might. But I think the problem the problem is is he's having to come from such a far distance mm-hmm. that this, the, the timing the timing gets really messed up. This bare front having these five down linemen, I think, really messed with your counter game. I I don't think I don't think they had much going here. I I could be wrong, but I don't I don't know if they pop a counter play for much more 
That's well, the, that's what Ben I mean, the scored on. The touchdowns counter. Okay, it is. Yeah. Oh, that's because you get a light box. They're not in a bear front that that play. We'll we'll, we'll see that later. That's because they go with the detach uh, detach. Um, but here's no, counter again. And they're just spilling this hard. Yep. We've said it. The teams that spill have spilled counter against FSU have shut it down. The teams that haven't have gotten it run up their butt. They're collapsing hard. If you can somehow get this outside, you've got something. You heard Mario talk about it in his – well, I listened to his post-game presser. I was curious to see what that fumbling idiot would say. And he, uh, he said the one time they didn't spill counter went for touchdown. This feels like something could be there, but I don't understand why the hell we can't run screen. <laughs> These morons can run screen like it's their day job. We've been That's running. We've do. not that particular that screen, screen, but they, that, that yeah, the tunnel screen. Yeah, we don't. We I don't know. It'd be nice. It, it'd be nice to get key on. You know what I mean on one of those looks, but we just don't run it as well. I I don't know. They're not as comfortable in space. It looked like they were running two screens to. A screen to each side. The lineman. The yeah, lineman it was nowhere to go. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was an interesting look. All right, so this is Miami's one drive. I'm pretty sure. I think this is it. Yeah, but up to this point, like he dominated. So spread, Miami spread you out now, which I think is key. So they're getting your back, your safeties now involved in run fits in the box, yeah. and that's he has key. To come to yeah, it's a key here. Get Fisk inside. They're able to reach up onto Lundy here. And I think that I think what people mistake, um, and they they talk about, you know, why weren't you doing what you do in the second half and the first half? They are. They're just doing it from distance. In the second half, they just they, send them. They commit them, and they say, "F it, get up in the box now, immediately." Which exposes you to more risk, but it. It, it, you know what I mean? It doesn't give him so much space to get blocked. So it's, but, once again, adjustments. So, so Miami's doing duo here, right? So there's double teams here. They're not really looking to work up to backers necessarily. They're just trying to open up these gaps and let the running back kind of choose. And FSU's filling these inside gaps and leaving this bounce and hoping that they can rally to it, right? Leaving this kind of B gap here. Mm -hmm. I think we'll see that throughout this drive. That's kind of that's kind of where Miami's hitting you. So you're doing oh, a good job filling. Six yard run, not too bad. Get that guy out of here. I know, but I think I think that pops up again. It does. It absolutely does. So yeah, again, he kind of pops outside because FSU's doing a good job filling. I mean, Miami's had four drives to make some adjustments on the sideline. I mean, at this point, you know. They, they adjust to what you're doing. You came in with the game plan and dominated them for three or four drives. Three, I think it's three. Now on their fourth drive, they've made adjustments. It's a second. It's the second time through the rotation, right? Like, right, exactly. yeah, you're starting to get some tells on. They adjust. And guess what? You're going to get to adjust back. And when you adjust back, you hold them to like zilch. Yeah, this first half, second half narrative doesn't really make sense when FSU with six minutes left in the second quarter, has given up essentially nothing. One missed tackle on a slant. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. I'll give that kid credit. I mean, he did a nice job extending drives with his legs. Here's one that pops. They yeah. Get the back, they get out the back door. Or, well, I guess it's the front door, actually. It's the exact yeah. same play. You got Duo <clears throat> and FSU's filling the inside gaps. They bounce it through this B gap. It's just on the other side. Yeah, you're, think, where's your safety? Yeah, your safety's got to be here. I think Tatum's on the in the wrong here, actually. Yeah, I think he is too. I think he, he flows he, inside. He, he, yeah, he sticks his nose inside. He shouldn't be in there. I think he should be up there. He does it because of the tight end going across. Uh, is that what gets him? Yeah. You see, see where his eyes are. Yep, he's looking right at it. Was an eighty-eight? Yep. Yeah, that's, that's a good play by by Miami. Good design there. And all they had to do was get a piece. And you rotated your safety to the other side. Yep. And he he just didn't account for it. I think I I think he's wrong, but I think he kind of 
tricked him a little bit. Play die games with him. Right. But like, that's my thing. Like, they're allowed to scheme shit up also. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. You, you, nobody, nobody expected a shutout, dude. I don't know. Nobody reasonable expected a shutout. I, no, <laughs> I'm not saying nobody expected a shutout, but I've heard people talk about like Miami's run game, like it dominated them in the first half. This is one drive, one, and this is all their rushing yards. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I thought it, that, it, that was it, it aggravates me because I, you know, it's it's people that talk about this team that people listen to, and it's horseshit. They had one drive in the running game for sure. Where it was it showed any sort of consistency, which is impressive given that's that's the lifeblood of this Miami offense. I think uh, what happens I, here? I think two things happen here. So I think Shaheen Brown needs to attack the inside shoulder here. He kind of attacks head on, which allows this gap to open up. That would allow Lundy, who also needs to be a little bit more aggressive scraping, seeing this linebacker or being this seeing this tight end. If he you, gets, you got two guys. You got two guys in the same gap there with the with Turner and Shaheem. Right. With Shaheem attacking the middle slash outside of the body, you got two or, guys. Or depending on, I'm gonna assume it's Shaheem's but should be inside here, but it may be Turner should be spilling to Shaheem. But it happens so fast because you're on a run blitz that uh, that, that it catches you here. And then Lundy just doesn't have the speed to keep up here. He he kind of bites inside. Ah oh, man, I, number two for Miami is a good running back as far as he like is. his instincts of when to go in and when to go out. And he reminds he, me of Treshawn Ward. He runs duo really well. But they're, yeah, they're not pushing FSU. Otherwise, no. they would score here. You know, you really had three plays that they had some good scheme stuff. You got yep. you, you had a bad you got a bad fit because of what they were kind of doing to attack your your defense. Just the touchdown to yeah, the, that stuff aggravates me. I don't understand how this happened. He gets cooked. I mean, he just gets absolutely toasted. Yeah, he was expecting something inside, and he was just flat footed. Mm-hmm. Yep, he's nice like ball. expecting nothing. That he's like, is this play over already? And then nice like, ball. Yeah, it's weird. He did get kind of lulled to sleep. Nice weird, ball placement yeah. by the kid for sure. Yeah. And nice catch. Nice route. Nice route by the yeah. George. George had a good game for them. He's a, he, I mean, you knew he's their best receiver. Everybody's yeah, talking about I mean, Restrepo, but you know that George is the, their most talented player out there. Yeah, they, they'd be in trouble if Restrepo was their he'll best let, receiver. He'll let you know too, man, because he's tweeting he's tweeting stats out <laughs> like thumping his chest after a, a loss in a rivalry game, which is uh, that's Whatever. not good for the culture. That's what that school does. That's weird. And then dead this whole the holding kills it. This is the this is the safety, which I guess isn't a safety because I don't I uh, guess the contact has that, to be initiated behind the line. Wherever the contact yeah. initiates, that's where the play's dead, right? Yeah. Isn't that what the yep. that's where four progress stops? Oh, okay. They're running a kind of like snag wheel thing. Always working a wheel. But Miami's got a good coverage called here. Yeah, they got you they're, on this one. They're ready for it. Nothing's yeah. really there. Byers gets annihilated. Yeah. Yeah, Byers loses. You know, he's 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 come I, a long I way. Hyped him up quite a bit in there. In there, there uh, instant I was listening to this morning. Bud was hot, really high. I, I haven't seen a ton from Byers. It makes me think. Oh wow, he had a game. So Not far. yet, yet at least the only reason you would think that buyers are Ruben Bain working yeah. here. Oh, this is curious. solid, but then Darius kind of gets pushed by by Bain, and then the Saint gets around uh, Benson. Trey's a little. I think it's a little overzealous there. I'd like to see, yeah, I don't know, Jordan looking, looking, looking downfield in that situation. Mm -hmm. It is. So I'd like to see him just honestly take off when you're that close to the end zone. Try to give yourself a little bit of breathing room. But I mean, it's wired in his DNA to always be looking downfield for the big play. So, and I mean, 
I'll give credit to Bain here. He he seals this gap, keeping JT from moving up in the pocket. It's I think JT must see something here because normally he would he would take off. That's what I would have liked to see. You can't tell from the angle and then Yeah, but I, I don't think JT was hundred <laughs> percent. No. No, no, no. Apparently the apparently the uh, playoff committee called the eighty five yard touchdown by Miami at the end of the game a fluke play. And they didn't right. even factor it in they didn't even factor it into the outcome of the game. Oh, well, listen, if the CFP says we won 27 to 13, who am I? Who am I to say I'm smarter than Boo Corrigan? Yeah. Boo. Maurice just kind of got, yeah, got hey, worked Maurice by Leonard Taylor here. Fighting for everything he's got. I mean, that's the that's the unfortunate truth about this offense is like Oh, yeah, he's crawling on the It's ground not getting him. better because these dudes are so banged up. Third and 34 NFL blitz conversion. Yeah, dude, it's, it's yeah, you would have liked to. I don't yeah, know. Job, that was yeah. behind him. The, the whole, the whole, the whole drive was discombobulated from the holding penalty on. You got it was dead there. I mean, this is a higher percentage throw. I was Jordan's talking about earlier, and they really scored. happy feet. It's third and 34, dude. It's not even a real down. <laughs> yeah, but it was. It would have been nice to get your kicker out of field goal. Yeah, out of yeah, his own yeah, end zone. Yeah. Bad throw. Yeah, coverage is always sparkling. Except what? Virginia Tech. Punt coverage. That was so long ago. <laughs> Sounded like a Brendanism. So long ago. <laughs> All right. Burst. Ah, oh, see the. Oh, dude, this was a pick too. Was it? What? What? Why they ever turn it? They did. They called call. it incom- they, incomplete, and then they can oh. review it. And then you see that. Vance's left arm was under it the whole time. You, Adam, because you you missed this game, and they didn't give it to him. What a play no, crazy. no, they didn't overturn it. Call in the field stands. It was bull crap. They every single video review was like wrong, except for the safety, which we now confirm via rules correct. So, I mean, can, can we talk about easy. Az's play here? I mean, this is this is a special play, dude. He looked good. He's looked good. In this that hand game in so there. Far. He's looked really good this game so far. He really has. I mean, I, I do think they, they took out Cypress a little bit and they, they've started putting AZ a little bit more w- when they saw kind of what Miami was trying to do. Oh, I hate giving up I get this you one. with numbers there. Yep. You're expecting pass. Well, they've, they've stuck with what's been working for them. They've spread you out now and they know they're going to get a, they're going to get a five man box and they're just, they've got a hat on a hat at that point. Yeah, linebacker gets lost in the wash of the they're, team, and they're tr- they're trusting their offensive line to hold up long enough for the back to get through, and it, it happens. Yeah, I mean, I I do think that this this is one of those situations where I, I if I were to guess, Adam Fuller would say, yeah, I probably could have been a little bit more aggressive in trying to stop trying to yeah. stop the run here. Absolutely. I think yeah, especially. A little bit- yeah, these are situations where I maybe should have he- heated up the freshman quarterback. Right, especially on uh, with two timeouts left, you know they want to run the ball, right? Well, at the same time, you don't want to give that touchdown up. It's 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 tougher than it looks sitting on your yeah. couch. Nice and recovery, if you do, and if you don't. But even then, that's like one twenty yard play. Yep. The reason why they get a field goal here isn't anything the defense did. <laughs> it was that the. Miami got the ball in like their own on FSU's 45 because right. your yeah, offense, the offense went 20 yards backwards. Yeah, definitely. Third and one. There's a hell of a play. <sighs> yeah, it is. I think Miami snaps is too soon. They screw themselves up. I don't think they try to run a split zone. You just said, no. Then we get the field goal. Was oh, this the old side kick? Yeah, and dude, I think it looked like they had him. <laughs> yeah, it, it was there. No replay, but or we'll see if we can slow it down. It's it's there. I mean, yeah, they got the look they wanted. Obviously, I, I don't know why we weren't more aggressive in attacking it. Like it, because you can't attack it there because it still hasn't gone ten yards. Right, right. Let's see. Because you're hoping it bounces normally, but it yeah, takes yeah. They're they they were expecting a baseball hop here, and instead they get the it big bounce straight up, the big hop. Yeah, and 
that's Frank Ladson, who's like six five. Oh yeah, he was like a he was like an elite receiver, yeah. right? Recruit. Yeah. He's a Clemson guy. Was he did he mm-hmm. go to Clemson? Okay. Essentially if that if that bounced any other way, that's probably a huh. huge ball. A transfer. Interesting. <laughs> All right, what happened on this run? <laughs> Fisk punched the well, kid in the top of the head. <laughs> FSU hasn't made their second half adjustments yet, A B. The magical second half adjustments that fix everything. So they they're trying to they're working a game here with verse inside. I'm right. gonna guess they, the guard gets off and take picks it up. I think this is something we'll see later, but they're running duo, right? So they're oh, double no. teaming. And if he comes off, well, they're not gonna come and fill that. Oh, we just get hung up. It's crap. Yeah, we have three guys here. Yeah, I I, I don't is that Shaheem, yeah, Shaheem gets stuck on Versus back for some reason. Yeah. Instead of hitting the gap. He needs to make that tackle. Yeah, he's right there. uh, You can even see it clearer on the reverse angle. Then Fisk with the club over the top of the head. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Shaheem has not had a good... The safeties in general haven't had a good game thus far. But, I mean, your front is doing well enough to keep you pretty Now you're walking them up quick. There you go. See? Get them from the backside. You're just putting them in the run fit at this point. But you're so putting them in it. You're putting them in it almost pre-snap, as opposed to like you said, Adam, yeah, having them hang exactly. back into a post-snap. So yep. it's, instead it's a, of doing, instead of doing it from depth, you're going to adjust everything on the inside now. That they're going to take those inside interior gaps away, and he's just going to come fit on the outside. Right. So when Miami burst the few runs they did, it was in this gap here. Mm-hmm. So what you're basically saying is, instead of going out with my defensive end and filling that gap with a safety from depth. I'm going to plug it here immediately with my defensive end and then get my safety on the outside. So essentially kind of a, a gap exchange from what you were doing. And it works. Good job. Miami doesn't Tackle. pick it up. They tried to do the same thing with Shaheem on the first play, except they sent him on the inside. Ooh, oh, Larry. my goodness. Ah. Well, that's a read. Spilling counter, he comes underneath of it. Yeah. Look, Jared Verse is like, wait, counter. <laughs> like, jumps back inside. That's a fill right there. That is spotting daylight and getting to it. Yep. Great, Great play by Tatum. Defense. Absolutely. All right, third and 13. You're essentially in cover four, but it's practically two man. Got to burn a timeout. You're playing coverage here. I mean, when when FSU can keep two safeties back. But look at that. See, they try to run. Yep. They try to run the screen before, and then look. Look, there's the there is the difference right there. Yep. Pat sees oh, what's going on. Man, that's a great play. He's become. He he's had a. Cheese. He's had a great year, man. Just a fe- the way he affects the passing game with batting down the balls and recognition and with stuff that. like that. I'll say that there are a few defenses I watch in college football that consistently make as heady of plays as, as Florida State seems to be able to make. Recognizing screens, getting out there, getting hands up when you can't, you know, get get to the the passer. Just little things. They're, they're doing a lot of the little things right. They're really well coached. You're detached now, so you got the you got the H back moved out. All right, for Brian Hartline, that is Keon Coleman's first catch um, in this game where he's injured in this rivalry game. So Brian Hartline, if you're watching, that's his first catch. It's like a little delay slant. Yeah, and you kind of get a clear out. Yeah. Get him open. I, I like these. I like being able to get Keon essentially in a punt return on the outside. But that's just me. He's a warrior, bro. Uh, he's hurt can, this game. You can see kind of that's Throwing the ball 30 times a game. I, I know he's hurt. I know he. I know he's dinged up too. But no, I know what you mean. But that that's right. That's what you're talking hey. about, right? From the same formation as we were running all the first half, Bro, second and a... second and short. It's a good tendency breaker. This is the one where Florida State always runs the ball. I love this. Call. Mike is so good at this stuff, man. It, this is so NC State or no UNC ran something very similar to this to Tez Walker for a touchdown um, when, when they played Miami. They know Cam Kinches is going to bite on on this outside stuff. 
He's going to bite on the slant coming inside. And he does. He takes Where's a bad angle. And good night. He's hitting on Keon. There's literally no one on him. That's the Keon effect, dude. Like all the all the all the attention that he soaks he, up. He did it against UNC too. I don't. They're, they're, I don't know what they're trying. Well, to he bit hard on that Georgia Tech. I don't play. know if they're trying to get Kinchins <laughs> on on that out on that outside slant and the corner supposed to roll over the top of it, or that doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't at all. For him to be coming this way, that's what AB. That there, maybe, yeah. Maybe he's just cheating. Uh, I think he's yeah, cheating. He's going too. I uh, just he did it against UNC too, and they. Hit it for a touchdown. Yeah, I just described a defense who makes heady plays and does all the little things right. Um, that's not what that is. He's a he's a ball hawk. He's got a lot of interceptions. No, baloney. That's what the that's what the fan base says. All yeah, right, great play call. Wish he'd have finished that play though. Yeah, he needed to finish it. This is floor seats kryptonite again. <laughs> Being on the five yard line with four plays to go, <laughs> score a touchdown. They gotta get What's funny is they were so good at the beginning of the year getting converting these. You're you're not wrong. Oh, this is the yeah. I thought they clearly had something drawn up. Yeah. Is it a shovel pass? Or yes, it, it is. Green? It's it look. It's a Both, shovel. Either. I think. I don't. And, oh, and I, I, I think it's supposed to be a screen. Well, the, I, the linemen aren't. I don't know what they're doing, Trey. But uh, even if, even then, if this double team had not let this guy so deep and Trey could release, I mean, that's a touchdown. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's there. There's something it looks, there. It looks very, very ugly, but it's there. I don't know. Back to, oh, dude, this, this one kills me. I love this play design. Yeah, that's nice. That's something we haven't seen a lot of. Oh, Jackson West. That's there. You just need to get a hand on them. Yeah. These tight ends kill you. I love the group. But they're they're a they year away from block. being where they, they need do to not be. block well enough consistently. Yep. No. I think they're good they're getting there. Like they're coming along. I don't feel like to be like, oh, they're not good players. Well no, and then you do you gotta like, get Morlock's made a ton of progress. You know, Jackson West is a dude that's missed a ton of time. Uh Jaheim Bell has become such a better blocker than yes, South Carolina. Yes. But ideally, if he was healthy, he'd be out there right now instead of number 48, like 48 special teams player. But they're you banged up, dude. Here. Yep. If uh who's who's no, again Warlock misses the block, 12 runs this thing down. He's the read man. He uh, doesn't yeah. wind it. He crashes and then is still able to get back out on this because Jordan mostly because of all of this. Yeah, it's just yeah. mucked up. JT can't go downhill. Yeah, it was too many missed blocks on that left side, on that play side to be a touchdown anyway. But man, I'd like for them to just kind of do some inside zone if they're going to play games like that. Like, I think you can push this this defensive line around a little bit. Or duo, or or whatever you want to run. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't get back to that since you hit it for touchdown earlier in the game. Right, you got yeah. good push. I'm guessing they're probably factoring in some health at this point. Ugh. There you go, Shaheem. Yeah, again, same idea. Yep. I, Miami just could not couldn't adjust to this. I but... don't for I don't foresee us getting real heavy in the technical breakdown of the Miami offense pretty much in this second half because they get. Their ass is kicked. All right, so here's the light box look. Yeah, he's coming from depth. Yep. Just do a good job of blowing up this double team. Yeah, they're doing a better job of keying the run game too from from width with Bethune. Yeah, Bethune missed a couple of reads early, but yeah. Deloach does a nice job of going and being physical on Matt Lee. And then in the first half. This guy was slow to make that that play. It was Lundy. But. Hey, Byron Turner and Gilbert Evan in there. They only gave up two yards. They're down. They're out. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're Crazy. out. They're down. They're down. They're out. That's funny. Oh, I'm looking for oh, 38, dude. I love watching that. 
Oh, who is that on the play side at defensive tackle on 73? This should have popped. I'm surprised it didn't. Yeah, there's a hole there. There's that same exact kind of. Uh, number two, number two bounces this and gets a pretty. I think the throw. forcing though, I think the forcing from the safety is why it doesn't because you're uh, whatever your tight, all. your tight end, your tight end here. I think it squeezes this and I think it makes his back commit before he really wants to. Is instead of get up and pressing and then bouncing. Yes, it, it, he's, it, he commits to it right away. They did a good job of speeding up the entire Miami offense. Like you said, Adam, before they would have done like a little burrow inside and then bounced it out and got a nice gain and would have converted. You speed up the clock a little bit. Man, how is this game tied right now? (laughs) Your offense is not executed at the line of scrimmage. All right, so now you see a quad set. They go to this quite a bit. I think they think they can get numbers out of it. And, man, that's there. Why didn't he pull this? He was surfing. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yep. He's just athletic enough to do both because he's a safety, not an end. That's yeah, a nice play by that kid. Yeah, you had him, though, man. You had him in a good look. Oh, it's frustrating. They go back to it. They go back to it a lot, actually. All right, now we got this, the 11 personnel. Split, Split zone. zone. There we go. A little RPO to Johnny backside. And that's that's kind of what I wanted to see. This, this looks nice. Like if they're gonna if they're gonna have their linebackers, you know, at three yards all game, two yards all game, no underneath coverage here. And this is really good ball placement. And I like the route too from Johnny, the way that he drifted to the outside. The good, good, safe, easy throw, man. Bring 23 screaming off the edge. So try to go back to it. Yeah. Here's the tutty. God, so they Benson's majestic when he gets up to full speed. It's right, fun. So they're in the flexed out. They're, they've been, they're in the detached uh, H back here. So they put him out, which gets you wider alignment from the safeties and also gets that, you know, it gets him out of the box. They bring him from width, but he's coming from real wide, so he's not even gonna be a factor. Yep. That that was this is the the key. This spread formation got this guy. Well, I think it got him out of their bare front, if I recall. If I'm remembering from what we've been watching, it gets him out of their bare front. I mean, yeah, they're in like a traditional three down, but like look how just mugged their linebackers are all the time. They're always here. It's the blocks are so clean. It's just down, down, boom. Oh, they do block it. Then dude just they didn't even need to though. Like that's a thing. Like you didn't even need to touch him. And that's a that when they were running counter before, were they running it out of that pistol look with the yes. with the eighty? Yep. So that's a nice adjustment. I mean, eighty one. I guess he's not spilling. He's just sitting there waiting to get blocked. Mm-hmm. And he does. There he you go. Washington. There's a good block by Morlock. 88 play by Ken Kentron. Kind of just get in his way a little bit, temporary stop, and then boom, perfect. Surprised James Williams didn't try to take his chain. Oh, there goes the lights off. Mario. Those lights are pretty. No, they're not. The best lights in the business. No, they're not. Don't do this. Many people, many people have said as much. No, no, some many lighting experts. I'm not gonna you know what? I'm not going there. I'm not going there anyway. (laughs) So what you're telling me is those are the Chris Jericho of lights. Dude, don't even. Don't you ever compare the <laughs> They're fine. Me. If you don't know what you're looking at, they're fine, and they go off and on. I'm not exactly. Gonna go, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to. I'm not going to go there. Anyway, great play, great design. We need. We need to. We need to have a whole conversation about color gamut and it's LED great technology. Run. Great color. Run. Color rendering index. Color temperature. Great adjustment by the offense. They use that. They use the field rotations by Miami against them here, which is cool. Uh, this guy. Yep. He's, so he's out of the play. He's non-factor. Kev, I think you tell us way better than Greg McElroy for what it's worth. Well, I get paid a lot less, so that's nice. 
It's okay. You're hungrier. You'll get there. <laughs> you're, 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 if only you're, I could have handed the ball off to elite. You're good. To, I Alabama like him. Running backs. I like. I actually. I don't mind. I like him as. No, I think he's good. a good PVP guy. I like him. He he's, probably color? he's color. Than, he's a color. Fast more than fourth court at this point. Pretty much, dude. They don't do a damn thing. That's why. Like I said, I'm glad that they're college... trying. Look how look how they're staying in these spread formations, though. Oh, look and... at James screaming. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's he's just not a great downfield passer. You you could trust your guys on. God, Basically, that. in man, co- you were in man coverage all day, and they could not throw on you. Like was... man coverage was very little help. And he, dude, credit to this kid. Tough had a horrific injury. He should not, a hundred percent, not have been put in this situation if this program was run run correctly from a, like a progression right. standpoint. But they were calling this kid Hemery Williams after the game. <laughs> really, he threw for like seventeen yards. <laughs> well, yeah, it's because of the late one, and everybody's like, "Oh, such a great throw." I mean, he put it out there. Uh, he's dude, it's really like great. A- I mean, should have been picked. Bro, it was a, like I said, he just the kid shouldn't have been in this position at all. Hey, there's Kevin Knowles. Give him a little love here. Here's the same the kind of bounce out through the B gap. Yeah. Kevin Knowles come up, make a tackle. Well, we said earlier the safety should have been there and he didn't show up. They rotated actually the the opposite way. Not this time. They Kevin Knowles makes a tackle. They don't story. tend to beat this FSU defense two times in a row with the same thing. Man, who was that? Oh, yeah, who's that yeah, guy? That Bethune. Was, I think I don't know, dude. It is, yeah, it is right yeah, well. there. I mean, people want to say like, "Why didn't you just make them throw on you?" That's what they did all game. They're in man cover. This is cover zero. Look at that. Yeah, this no is deep awesome, safeties. Dude. And then, dude, big props to Knowles there for getting there on the blitz, getting the hand hand up, getting the hand on the ball. Yep. That might be. The reason why that's not called a PI. Yeah, because it was uncatchable. Yeah. I don't know if he actually got a hand on the ball, but I assume he didn't throw it that poorly. No, I don't think he got a hand on it, but it was, I mean, he, the throw wasn't even close. I mean, he, he knows where to be. He's just, the tackling needs work. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gotten better, I think, as the year's gone through, but it's just, yeah, man, that freak play is what so many people are just going to remember. Ah, oh, look at that tough Brian Hartline. That's another Keon Coleman catch for your staff book. <laughs> All right. Going back to that spread formation. I mean, they Miami just did the same thing all game. They're not hiding it. They're just going to in man coverage. Stay detached with your – oh, you try to get the high screen again. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, man. More lock. He's, he's grown up this year right before our very eyes. I hear you detached. Oh, man, Mike. Okay. Oh man, I would, what? I would like to see a little same side counter here. Again, go back to it. Yeah, I would have lo- loved to have seen it. I mean, it's there. I'm surprised he didn't. Especially on first and ten. But we didn't throw the ball enough, I thought. And he threw the ball. That was Kevin's words. Don't want okay. me in. Okay, I was just I mean, asking. I was just, I was just, I was just checking. I was just checking. I mean, they still have numbers here. He might could have got it. But... I'm floored that he didn't run it. I don't know. I'm okay with this. <laughs> Just natural disagreement. I'd like for the, the passing game to have more options than backside, like back shoulder fade. Let's pause. Okay. Quads. What do we see here? Balls. What are they looking at? Balls. We got a little, it's getting a little. Back to All that right, so... quads look like you said, Kev. Yeah, they, they obviously saw something out of this. Um, now you get your counter AB, so. Your wildest dreams have come true here. <laughs> I mean, you, you've got, you kind of have numbers, right? You get a kick and a kick. You've yeah, he's... been in one on one with a safety out here. I mean, this play's made by the freaking D tackle. I think that's. See, here's, that's my, pro- here's my problem with how they run it here. I would have liked to have seen it run same side as the back because of where Williams is. Williams? No. no, Williams is there. I'm sorry. I'm seeing my mouse on the screen, and it's you can't see it. <laughs> he's on the he's on the right offense's right hash. Okay. 
Well, I think your angles are better if you run it to the left. And they've run a little seam side counter this year. I just, I'm with you, man. 58 on that backside. It's just, yeah. they're he triggering on. Play. They know it's coming, dude. They're, they're triggering on from the defensive line standpoint. Hey, James Williams taking a cheap shot. What a shocker. Yeah. yeah. All right. Detached tight end. Four wide. Man, this offense really does look better when they spread it out. Oh, I got to catch it, dude. See, that's, that's the thing. Rough. It's like, it's a great throw. It's just a, it's a hard completion. Is it there? Is it a little, is it a little outside? Sorry. It was Angle, there. I think he Angle's just, kind of bad. I, I think Johnny just wasn't ready for it at the right time and kind of caught him by surprise. Oh, come on. What the hell are we doing? Falling over each other. Man, they are so beat up. Yeah. Murray Smith gets over extended early. It's tough, dude. When with that when that defensive line's in an obvious passing down, yeah. like it's they're gonna get their they're gonna get their TFLs, especially when they bring the Maui Noah kid. That sucks. That was a good drive. Yeah, no, it's, I think it, he had two calls there. Well, one call and one execution that really gets you. Speaking the of counter? execution, right? Yeah, I thought the, I thought they should have run counter the other way there, and then um, and then the back shoulder throw to Johnny. Just doesn't catch it. Yeah. Yep, dead. Ooh, another another boy. drive. DJ? An, another wasted drive by Miami. And DJ Cotter. Lundy. They're just whipping that front at this point. Yeah. That ballyhooed. Yeah, whipped them right off that best offensive <laughs> line like award list, right? <laughs> Miami, you can just tell them, this is when it felt like Miami was just packing it in. When they could just put Shaheen Brown here, and there was just no answer. They were just like, I guess. Well, I don't know if they were packing it in. I just think they were getting smoked, right? I know, but you, you can I, – I guess what else do you call if you don't really trust your quarterback to throw the ball downfield? But, like, that's not going to work. This is a Mario Cristobal offense. I don't care whose name is on it as an offensive coordinator. For now. It's just so conservative. I mean, it's always going to be Mario Cristobal's offense. As long as he's there, it's going to be the same nonsense over and over and over again. Kick it a ball. I mean, to me, this is a passing look, A.B. <laughs> oh, that's there. You have something here. Oh, boy. Oh, Darius, no. <laughs> well, run it back to the beginning. This is a passing look? Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with throwing the ball here. I actually really like this call, but you don't have enough time. They get a blitz around the edge. That 23 kid, What? who is that for them? Is that Couch to Corey Couch, maybe? I li- I, I've li- I thought he's, he's to me, he's looked like the best player in that secondary from this film. Oh, yeah, and that's targeting for sure. Like, he, like, jumps and, like, loads up a hit to the face. Missed. Yeah, that's, yep, you can't do that, but I guess you can. ACC. Can't wait to leave. Third and six. Should have been first down. I think the drive. I wonder if it's over here. Yep, they view it. They get it wrong. ACC. Oh. And six. Oh, why didn't he? Oh, the one time they don't call a freaking wheel. Yeah, that's open, but he cuts back in to an angle right back into. Well, that's because out. of what they got the last time they ran this, if you remember. Yeah, they, they had an extra. I wonder if something else was down open downfield because this corner is starting to like. I wonder what Johnny's doing here. I'm sure he's around the flag. It looks like. Yeah, I th- you might have had the flag there. Meadow. But you know they were getting pressure enough pressure on Jordan Travis to not to not really let those routes develop. Yep. And that's kind of what's killing you here. I bet Miami's going to move the ball this time. Miami a little bunch set. Super cute little backside screen. screen. Nope. We reading that. <coughs> there's there's not there's not much there. Yeah, credit to their defense for even giving them a shot in the second half. <laughs> so their offensive coordinator thought they had something out of this formation. Well, they're just trying to lighten the box so they can run the ball. Yeah. But they can't move this front. 
Yeah, the front Fables is actually they're eating. Fisk is in there eating. Yeah. Miami did not win the, the line of scrimmage. No. FSU missed a few gaps by their safeties and linebackers, like three. Oh, That's my basically God. God. Ugh. He's so close. That Dude, that's that's that get-off we saw last year. Yeah, if he doesn't trip, man. He still affects the play. He affected he, – he had a good game, dude. He affected – he had like – what? He's, I wonder how many quarterback hurries he had this game. He I mean, had like the highest pass rush grade in the, uh, from the game. I mean, he's he's eating up double teams too. Same with Fisk. And it, that's what's allowing Deloach to rack up stats. Oh, okay. Heartline, I want you to pause and take a look at this. Damn. That is yeah, a hurt – Superstar gutting this, it out. When's this bum gonna house one of these? Huh? When's this bum gonna house one? Has he not housed one yet? <laughs> oh, no, dude, he's been so close like four times. He's hurt, man. But look yeah. at him, dude, gutting it out. Listen to there's, Trey. Make it there's excuse. no way he gets. If caught, I was a high him. school receiver, he would be my favorite receiver. If I was a highly ranked high school receiver, he'd be mine. What if you're the highest ranked high school receiver? Then especially Keon okay. Coleman would be my favorite player, and I would I would hope that anybody that was recruiting me would say nice stuff about him. What a warrior! Look at him go. I do like this. I'm not going to score, so you've got to die, punter. <laughs> All right. Oh, that great! Spikes dude. the ball in his head. Yeah, man. But special teams they the they kept the, kept Miami pinned down. And then they 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 helped you out when your offense was sputtering. Oh, he's trying to throw that. It looks like. Yeah. Oh God, that's almost like that's almost like something they'd play in New York. <laughs> yeah, he might have like a hitch out there that's open, but just doesn't have enough time. Oh, look at oh, that's Houdini stuff. Oh, dude, you got to score. I want that. Oh, mm. oh I'm blinded. Mm-hmm. Glare control. Um, Glare control. <laughs> <laughs> I love that everybody's getting everybody's getting a taste of Trey hating the lighting. Oh, I didn't just don't put words in my mouth. Oh, they're they're there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Miami's right. game plan was essentially to pass interference on that yeah, side. Old Keon. Yeah, the yeah, whole they time. Game. They get away with it like four other times. All right, this is this is when they were getting too cute. Oh, snap, snaps bad. I don't I mean, I don't dead. need JT running wildcat. I don't need, I don't need that. I guess a 10 man box. No, thanks. I mean, I think about when you did punch it in, in the red zone, spread them out, dude. If you spread want to run, out. spread them out. Run. I, I don't understand what, what he sees in these. Oh, I understand this. Oh, draped all over him. What a warrior. Rivalry game, biggest stage. Sure, Come I mean, to Florida yeah, State and you can do it That's too. Good. At what point does I mean teams should be penalized if they're just PIing every play? Well, a good a good officiating staff would disincentivize that strategy. AC I mean, against Keon it makes sense. I mean, I'd rather give up fifteen yards than actually letting him catch it, you know. Here comes the dumbest play ever. God, this is gonna make my head hurt. Yeah, cause dude, you're you're well on your way. Like the you're game's blown, over. You they haven't done anything of substance. Yeah, they got nothing going. Look at that, Jared's all mad. I mean, I like it. You want to say offensive game plan? Uh, our defensive game plan in the first half. Uh, safety's coming in late. <laughs> you're stopping the run. You know, like I don't know. That's what they did the first half too. Yeah, like you said, right? It's just they, it's they not really of... any different. People want to make it sound different. They did those blitzes off the edge, but that that wasn't the only thing they did. No, it was it was a good adjustment, but they were minor adjustments. Finchel Cypress made the play he didn't make in the first half. That's a big difference. Thanks, ref. <laughs> I thought it was that draft. No, it's yeah. It's the next one. I think this one is where they dial. This is where he gets like held egregiously, oh, I believe. So oh, that almost breaks it. Here you go. Well, actually, this isn't what you wanted. But again, same quad set. They clearly liked the numbers. And you can see why. 
know, they can read this guy, get a block here. Give. You have numbers. Holy hell, that's a great job by that that tackle. Or is he an end? 55 goes all the way, scrapes all the way over the top of this. Yeah. Uh, they they prepped for a counter here. 55. But then who gets back? I don't know. If 55 doesn't do that. This, the guy this, we're kicking? Does the guy we're kicking get back? Yeah, he gets back in on it too. I'm erotic. This arms. Tough kid, 51. Tough kid to block. Yep. Oh, he's got time. Oh, he's yeah. getting held. Yeah, this is a bad one, dude. That's a bad they don't one. show the replay, but yeah, he gets pulled real bad. That's a touchdown. Yeah, like yep. you see him like this. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal. Which kind of motion? It's third and ten. They're just gonna yeah, rally just, to it. It's tough. Yeah, they're good tackling. They're a good tackling mm -hmm. team. They are. I mean, at this point, you're gonna say we're gonna play kind of conservative and. Miami's going to need two miracles to beat us or to tie us. Oh, here's one. But you would have liked your offense to be able to get something going, you know, like they did in the first half. They were able to move it a lot more consistently. That's the thing. It's hard to point and just say like, well, they should have thrown some short to intermediate passes at any one point in time. But these past two drives, it's like you just needed to move the ball. You know, this is so stupid. This is so, so stupid. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you, dude. I don't get it. <laughs> I haven't got to watch this play again. So he's draped on him. This is... Yeah, he's all over him. It's perfect coverage. <laughs> Safety's got to stay over the top. You think he just tried to what? Like he went for the... I have no pick? clue what he's doing. No clue yeah. what he's doing. I don't know. I think they asked Fuller. I don't think he did either. <laughs> he just takes a terrible angle. Either play the ball or play the man. One of the two. You mean you play your man. Trip you... your man? Gosh, Dude, you could run that man. play 99 more times from that scenario. I don't know if that would ever happen It'll get again picked like off that. 98. Yeah, I don't think he would ever. <laughs> it's so stupid. Good, good job, college football playoff committee. I'm with you guys, though. You got to get some more points with eight minutes left in the game. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like Miami's defense is good, but you can't have four or five drives that are just clunkers. Oh, oh that's a good run. That's a yeah. big boy run. There you go. It's the same quads look. It's the same play. They've gone back to it. Now this is the third time. They clearly liked this. Backside counter, but this time they get 51 out of the – they get him as the edge man instead of the – Stack backer. There you go. Good, good block there. Sixty-three. That'll do. And you're moving. They're going to start running clock. <sighs> Come on, biscuit. You got to get a block. He's going to outrun this thing. Of course, he's expecting to be inside. That's not fair to him. Yeah, it dude. feels like an adjustment because I'm not used to Benson just bouncing it. <laughs> <clears throat> that might have been his first bounce of the year. Mm -hmm. So that feels like that was something communicated. Oh, nice, tough. It's interesting that they started, that they stopped doing the RPO digs and started going back to RPO you know, comebacks. Yeah, back shoulder stuff. They didn't run. Yeah. And I guess that's because of leverage, but. Yeah, you know, even the play they ran to Jakai, you never saw You never saw something like that again. Here's the same play, right? You got quads. Going to run counter into the, away from quads. God, they did run this play a lot. Yeah. And it's almost there. Yeah. Who's 44? Is that Bain? It's a, it's a great run. Yeah, it's tough. Start running the clock. Oh. What are you doing, Byers? Byers just kind of floats inside, never works his way back to a linebacker. He should be up there. I mean, we turn when 50. Gets, kind of, I don't know who that is. We turn 80. Is it 81? No. I don't know what the number is. 
I mean, we turned somebody completely free. Yeah, 31. Yeah. yeah, that's weird. Too many missed assignments. Yeah, yeah, they're bringing a lot of pressure. It's well. the same thing that you started kind of doing to them, that you start and bringing then, pressure. And just... It makes you think, have to think really quickly on your feet. It's tough for guys to do. Yeah, and this is just the house. I mean, we did this to them, I think, the couple drives before. Just what are you going to do? You went to Johnny a bunch backside one on one there earlier in the game. What I don't understand why you're not looking at him here. Yeah, I look at Keon right. Are you just looking at Keon like this? Feels you got very uncovered on one on one on the backside. Like, what what are you not? Are you expecting somebody? Are you thinking maybe somebody's going to drop? Like you cannot block these people, right? I, and Jordan Travis would normally know that. I don't know what he's looking for here, but you need to get rid of this ball now. There is a free rusher, no matter what. Like, that's just a numbers game. Yeah. yeah. That's on JT, I think. Yeah, with 10 over. I think he's got he's to know. And I, that seems like a mistake I haven't seen him make in a while. So, But just these little mistakes just add up. And now you're in a game with a team you shouldn't be in a game with. Ugh. Just a drop pick. You're just, you're just kind of playing cover four, staying over top, rallying to it. Third one. Yeah. Guys there. Oh, man, that's good, tough play, dude. Yeah, Miami wasn't pushing you around on the on the lines. That 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 has been dispelled in my mind a hundred percent. You won the line of scrimmage. This was a defense. At least on this side of the ball. This was a defensive battle in the fourth quarter. Third quarter, you did good on offense. You schemed some good stuff open. The fourth quarter was a battle of defenses with a fluke play mixed in. And your special teams was was the thing that put you over the top because you're a better overall team, of course. Oh, oh boy. The turnover machine. Man. There you go. Two and a half minutes left. Hand the ball off. A lot of confidence in your boy. Mario. He talked about how great his future is. Who's? The Van Dykes. He, he went a whole rant specifically bringing up Tyler to Van Dyke, how bright oh, his future is. That's good. Well, yeah, it, definitely when, when Crystal Ball has anything to do with your quarterback development, he's had a great, he's had a great history of that. He's got a the hell of a track record, doesn't he? He made Justin uh, Herbert look like a mortal. Yeah. All right, it's first and ten. That was a good little throw. There. Yeah, he hits a couple solo throws on the backside. Which, minute left. I mean, they are dramatically underutilizing Colby Young. He's a talented player. Oh, verse, dude. Big man play. Great game he had. Props to you, Jared. Yeah, one of those games where the stat line might not reflect how well he played. He played a lot of snaps. For the film buffs. Uh, Nope. Should have been a pick or an OPI. Oak, just electric. What do you got for me? Nothing Not bad. Oh, oh, almost another pick. All right. Game on the line. Fourth and ten. Yep, take the timeout on defense. I like easy right. talking about shit down there. There we go. Tyler Van Dizzle in the shot gizzle. Rolling out of the pocket. Knock him right. A picture of poise. Stumbling. Oh, an interception. Yeah. It's what he do. The ending that we all knew was coming. What, this ending? I mean, yeah, dude. I mean, if, if number nine's in, and we knew we were going to get Pixky. Well, I, I thought you were more referring to the ending that's about to happen. It's wild mm. how good the coverage was on that last play, though. 
here, this ending. Um, still one last one to break down. So Mario doesn't know how knees work on either side of the ball. Um, <laughs> having an extra man here. <laughs> yeah, they got a penalty on this. <laughs> He's like, what is what is this play? I don't get it. Put an extra Fire, guy in there. Stop Fire's that. Fires waved them bye-bye. Yeah, that's great. And the one like, last penalty. He's furiously taking notes down. <sighs> one last coach-related penalty for the road, because why not? And then he and Mike with the ice cold handshake at the end. Yeah, that was quick, dude. They don't like each other. And I don't really, I don't really blame old Michael for that one. Um, dominant defensive performance. Offense was just good enough. But the thing about the offense that kind of bums me out is, dude, they they had they they had about like seven to seven to nine ten ish plays that were so like either drawn up. Or they got three yards and they could have got fifty and or blatant holding pass interference penalties. So credit to Miami's defense, but uh I mean you Offense really gotta get healthy. Yeah, it person, does. Gotta get healthy personnel. It does, and I think there's something to what you guys were talking about, the middle of the field. Because they ran they ran some of the middle of the field stuff in this game and it looked good. They just yeah. They have things that they rep and they're comfortable with, and they they fall back on it, especially when they're under duress. So I think I'm more encouraged by the offensive performance, I think, just because there was so much stuff that was one tick away from being there. And the defensive performance was sterling. They did a wonderful job, mm -hmm. even, even given the caliber of offense they played, especially in the second half. They overplayed it. One fluke play that the committee didn't even care about anyway. Good performance. Could have opportunities for it to look a lot better from a scoreboard perspective, but man, watching that game, especially again, you're the better team and you outplayed them. I think pretty handily. What do you guys think? Yeah, I, I think that um, you had an opportunity to to kind of put big numbers on the board. I think just just I, it's a kind of microcosm of what we've said all year. Of like, you watch the Duke game and it was. Florida State outplayed Duke more than the scoreboard showed. Every one of these games, you're like, man, man, FSU's one step away, one thing away, one little block, one little chip away from pulling away from this game, winning by even more scores than they are. Mm -hmm. And you just got to hope that, uh, well, this is your chance with an FCS team to kind of get healthy, get better. You play a Florida team, and hopefully before, before bowl season, you can kind of get get healthy, find these little things, get that last little chip uh, on these blocks and, and kind of become <sighs> a different a football team that's that plays up like where the scores indicate how well you played by film. Are we as worried about this is just an open question and I'm only doing it because we're on the eve of the college football playoff thing. We're not ranked number five. We're number four. There mm -hmm. is some degree of respect from the committee for these wins, which I think people were had some trepidation about that you only beat Miami by seven, even though on the field, like you were double digits better that you played double digits better than them. I mean, if Florida State wins all their games anyway, they're in. Should we care as much about style points as maybe we did on Saturday? It seems like the committee is respecting the wins that Florida State's getting so far. I mean, there's two more There's two more weeks left, three, if you count the championship game. I mean, as long as FSU's winning these games, should there be as much hand-wringing as there has been over style points? It seems like the committee values Florida State's uh, team efficiencies, uh, especially the defense compared to Washington. And then this is a quote from, from boo. Don't undersell the Miami FSU rivalry. Miami hit a big play for that touchdown in the second half. And we felt FSU was the dominant team. Um, that's, I was kind of, I've been saying that in the group texts, uh, amongst us and I got it. And I watched it. I watched the fourth quarter live. I didn't think Miami was really in the game. I went back and rewatched the game. I never thought Miami was in the game. We just sat here and watched it again, and it just never felt like Miami was in the game. Like they scored, they were tied. It was tied at halftime, and they even took the lead. It just never really felt like they were really competing for the same kind of outcome that you were. Um, I don't, 
maybe that sounds asinine. I don't know, but it just really felt like you were much better than them. And, you know, if somebody puts that graphic out, like how much did you really win by or lose by or whatever? Like the net success rate, it, the Florida State was yeah, vastly, it was uh, vastly yeah. superior. Uh, it wasn't even close. So, um, do, am I worried about style points? Though, which was which was your your initial question? No, I think as long as you're going to keep winning out, and you're going to, I think you're going to continue to do it the way you've been doing it. Um, it's not always going to look pretty, but in the end, your defense is playing really well. Your offense is going to play well enough. Assuming you keep getting guys healthy, um, that that I think you're going to do enough to get in your 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 strength of schedules, one of the top or strength of record or whatever the hell the metric is these days. Yeah, your resume. Your yeah, metric. it's one. Of, it's like number number three in the in the country nationally. You're all the all the data points suggest that you're an elite team. Like, I just I don't worry about it. Just keep winning. One thing that does concern me. It's not a concern. But it's not the style points. It's a lot of those plays that then we counted about like seven to ten. When you're starting to get into like the the conference championship, maybe, yeah. you know, knock on wood, CFP, you are gonna have to hit those more yep. to win the actual game, not the style oh, yeah. on your opponent. So I they you're do gonna have, have to score to, Florida. Yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to clean it up, man. You're gonna have to clean it up <laughs> night game in the swamp. Uh, so I think that's a concern as far as like style point stuff. And I don't blame people for not giving the committee the benefit of the doubt here. And the fact that they said those things actually surprises me because they were correct. And I haven't been used to that, but just some food for thought. But great, good game. I'm with I agree with both of you. Great to get the win. It was a dominant win. You deserved you deserved a better scoreboard yeah. <laughs> reflecting yeah. the quality of it. And I'm with you. There was some some meat on the bone for the middle of the field. But as far as like a team performance rivalry game, I thought it was really solid all around. And what's going to be even more, dare I say, exceptional, much better than solid, is all the stuff going on at Knowles247.com this week. Florida State had nine bajillion recruits at Doak for that electric <laughs> environment. And there's stuff going on, dude. There's, there's fun stuff mm -hmm. going on. And you got to be on the Knowles247 message board. Knowles247.com to get all of the info before your friends so they can think that you're an insider because that's the <laughs> best thing in the world to be is a college football insider. So you can fool them, and all you have to do is go to Knowles247.com and you get Paramount Plus, dude. Paw Patrol's on there. If you got kids, throw them in front of the TV. Have a good time. We love you guys. Florida State 10-0. and Picked up one rivalry victory. We're looking for another on Thanksgiving. North Alabama, you watch out for the Tatester. <laughs> Love you guys. Keep chopping.